Another Friday night, another day of protest by members of Youth for Justice. And just like many other Friday nights before, they took their chanting to the Circle K on Bellum Street in the Canal District, the Latino heart of San Rafael, California. Um, there's another boycott actually because Circle K doesn't want to stop selling Uncle Pops. <laughs> And just like every other time they organize these types of rallies, the message to the multi-billion dollar global corporation Circle K was simple and clear. So we are trying to take away the alcohols from the shelves. Alcohols are beverages that attract teenagers, but, but by the way how they look, like the design on them, and they, have, they are an equivalent of five beers. Five other stores in the neighborhood already have joined the Alcopop Free Zone campaign, but Circle K refuses to have a meaningful dialogue with members of Youth for Justice. Because I guess they just don't care. Um, we've been trying to make them stop and it just doesn't work, so we're, we're boycotting every other Friday and we're trying to make them stop selling these drinks and we're just trying to make our community a better place. During the rally, while most of the members of Youth for Justice continue to reach out to drivers to educate them about the dangers of alcohol pops, a delegation of youth walks into the store wanting to talk to management about their concerns. The person at the register, like many other times during the past two years, refers them to the 1-800 phone number and asks the young activists to call their corporate offices. We have been doing the boycott for three months and this has been going on for two years now. We will not give up, they say. Rain or shine, cold or hot, the campaign and boycott against Circle K will continue until the Canal District becomes truly an alcohol pop free zone. <laughs>